Is it a good angle? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you look great. I it's not my barber stripes that angle. I have to do it. I have to admit. See, for me to look good, it has to be up here like this. Yeah, but then it looks like they're looking from out of space. Yeah. Okay. Oops. You look great. Okay. We'll just see here. Yeah, the, <clears throat> what, the one question I will not be sad to not be asked is... Yes. So, how do they make you look small? That's, that's the question. Exactly. Okay. So, don't ask me that one. All right. You know what? I'll <laughs> use your <laughs> eyes. Okay, I'll do... You know what I was going to do? I was going to do like a speed round okay. of questions, but I need my glasses for this because I can't see it. So, the weirdest question that you've been asked on this tour. The weirdest oh, question. The weirdest question. Oh, um... <laughs> Sorry, Germany, but there was a guy, there was a guy that came in from Germany who, uh, who said, so how was it filming in New Zealand? Did they have Wi-Fi? <laughs> right. That was the question. That okay. Was, that was the weirdest because question. Because they don't have Wi-Fi. Like, yes, they have Wi-Fi. Running water. Yeah, they have hot and Indoor cold plum. running water. Indoor plumbing. They wear clothes. It's amazing. It's a very, a very advanced culture. That's very funny, but it wasn't the dwarf guy. No, no, now, the dwarf you... guy as in the guy dressed up as a dwarf. Yes. Gabrielli. Yes. Now you had a really great idea, apparently. Today? No, before when you said you think you should dress me up as a dwarf. I would, but I meant the prosthetics. Right. Like putting on the big nose. The real stuff. The real stuff. Exactly. It's, uh, it's a little bit too complicated, but I would have totally covered that your face have, in glue. That would have just And slapped a big lump of silicon on you, like <laughs> I had. That would have been lovely. Not. So... So were you surprised when he walked through the room? Because I know that he interviewed you last year. He did, and I I was ready for him this time. Oh, you were? Um, the thing is, I was doing all my junket on my own, so I had no one to play with, and I knew that if I put on the gold... Um, lame. The gold lame turban, <laughs> that, he, that it would probably be taken out of context, so I, I didn't. But he has these huge prosthetic ears which you can't I know. take your eyes off and you know what he stays in character which is yeah. really funny Has he, he you? Does, no but i watched Did i watched his like interview he, yeah i watched his interview with martin freeman right. and martin actually he actually compliments him on his acting he says see that what, what you're doing right there that's yeah, he's that's you reacting and acting is reacting oh, he's been brilliant martin he really has he is amazing isn't he and he's had an incredible year yeah. um you know from fargo to yeah, Sherlock, that was my to, favorite I mean, thing on television this year. It was. Right? Yeah. I was going to ask you what, what you watched. Amazing. Is that on the list? What was your it favorite was. thing um, on television? Well, I was going to ask you what you like in America. Let's yeah, go in I order. Don't, I don't watch a huge amount of television, but when I, for fear that I'll get hooked. Um, right. So obviously I'm a big fan of House of Cards, which I was before I went and worked in Kim and Spacey's Theatre. Okay. Um, but yeah, Fargo. Fargo was the other thing that I was like, this is like cinema on television. The, mm. the, the standard of working there was mm -hmm. amazing, and he was awesome. And you know, you can you can binge watch, which is what I do. Yeah, I binge watched North and South when I hadn't watched it. It's only three episodes though. That's not really binge. Is it? Is? Yeah. There was, what was that fourth oh, maybe episode? Maybe four episode. Is it four? <laughs> I think there's okay. four. Four parts. I haven't oh, yeah. seen the final part then. Oh, you haven't. No. Uh, what happens? They divorce. Okay. And she, <laughs> they get she on a train yeah. and go somewhere. And she runs off with uh, Brendan Coyle. You know, okay. because he's cute too. Good. So, uh, and Good the chance Brendan. of them down in Downton Abbey. Have you seen the pictures of George Clooney on Downton Abbey? I've seen pictures, yes. I saw one today, I was like, wow, that's great. Good for Downton Abbey. They I know, Clooney I there. know, but it's only for Texana, right? It's not... Oh, is it? Yes, it's not... It's not a whole episode. No, with exactly. Him. I thought okay. he was making a guest appearance, and I thought, very cool. Me too. As I, long as he serves coffee. I guess. He's a nice guy. You care he's about. really nice. Him I've interviewed. He's, yeah. he's very sweet. We like George. With the Anglophile channel or about okay, British Entertainment. It. And uh, Kate and William are coming to New York. Something about him going, he's going to go to a speakeasy. <laughs> he's going to take him to Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> do you gonna... know what Hooters is? Yes, I do. You do? Have you been? There was a chain. Where it, when I did my very first ever job out of Lando, which was Hamlet at the Birmingham Repertory Theatre, right. there was a Hooters next to the theatre. In England? In Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. There was? I don't think it's there anymore. I don't think it's survived. Let's, How let's move on. Let's <laughs> move on. Okay, next question. Next question. <laughs> what question? What okay. you order from the menu in Hooters? Okay. It, it was about the wings, right? That's what they always say. That's what my husband says anyway. It's about the wings, apparently. What question uh, did you get sick of answering? Um, how did they make you so small? For a six thing foot three. Are you really six three? Six three, yeah. Because I feel like I come up... To your height, you're six three. We're sitting down. 
No, well, not here. I mean, standing up. He's short in real life. That's the, that's the funny thing when they all come into the junket and they've prepared their first question. They go, wow, you're so tall. And I'm like, how can you tell I'm sitting there? <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, no, but it's a relevant question. I just forget that we were small. It's mm -hmm. always a shock to me when you watch the movie and you see how little you are. I'm like, I don't remember being small because we got right. bigger. We were bigger versions of ourselves. In, in the first, um, you can't see my smeared makeup, can you? Are you Do crying? I have raccoon eyes? Are you crying? Do you know what raccoon eyes You're, are? Are you quite moved? I am, I'm moved. It's the last, one last time. It is one last time. Last time. Peter Richard Jackson Armageddon. gets his star. When I saw the first, oh yeah, I have to talk about that. Yeah. When I saw the first movie, I, I didn't, I didn't sense the height difference in mm -hmm. the dwarfs. You know, I didn't, I didn't notice it. So I don't know if that was intentional or not. But when I saw the second one, suddenly I see dwarf, I see Thorin sitting at like, you know, the grown up table. Well, it's and because, you look very small. yeah, because in the second film, they start <laughs> to mingle amongst elves and men. And actually okay. in the third film, they're completely isolated. So you oh. don't really see, see the... Thorin with anyone other than his own men and as I'll get the end. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, the reason I think they chose big guys was because they wanted us all to be warriors warriors, and work alongside each other and not have to scale opposite Martin. And, you know, so the Martin, uh -huh. the, the, the um, Hobbit differential is all the same, mm -hmm. which is great. I mean, the only person that I spent a long time working with that sometimes I couldn't was Ian. But we would always make sure that for mid shots we were in the room together, but sometimes they'd put a mark on, oh no, they, yeah, they put them, they put, they'd ask me to look a foot above his head for eyeline, and it's impossible with Ian McKellen really? in right. the room with those like diamond eyes. Exactly. Your, your eye would just go do, 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 and you, I can't, you can't do it. And you're acting with Ian McKellen. Yeah. You, you, if you're acting with Ian McKellen, Sir Ian, you want to look in you his eyes. You want to look in the eyes and you can't, it, I, I would fight and fight and fight and my eyes would just drift down to his. Yeah, what is that like? I mean, you know, because as Martin Freeman said, acting is reacting. Yeah. So you want to be looking in the person's eye to react to what they're saying. It was so fine on the reverses because you would be absolutely in the eyes, but if it right. was a, it was, um, yeah, it's hard. Hard Interesting. Work. Okay. So look, you've been all over the world. We've been following you on Twitter. The fans absolutely love that you've done this Twitter picture tour. They really love it. And we've actually been blogging about it I as you Thank go you. along. It's a, it's a bit stalkerish, actually. I have to say that the, you know, it's one of the things about joining Twitter that I got very excited about. Is yeah, because the last time that we talked, you said absolutely no I Twitter. think I've said it on camera. Yes. I'll no never join media. Twitter. Yeah. Um, it's been brilliant. It's been brilliant to bring people along with you that don't get the chance to leave their own home sometimes, right. you know, and they, sometimes, they may not even get to the film. Right. Uh, some people couldn't come to see the play. So to yes. be able to just connect with all of those people yes. and have fun, you know, it, it can get very serious sometimes. And mm -hmm. you know, my intention is just to make people laugh. Keep it light, you know. Yeah. And like I told you before, <clears throat> it gives people an opportunity to feel like they're connected to you and feel like they're a part of your day. So when they see their favorite online and, oh, today I'm, you know, on Hollywood Boulevard giving a start of Peter Jackson, they feel like they're part of your life. Yeah. And they feel connected, which well, I think is important. The other thing that's really interesting <laughs> as well is seeing fans connect in the different places we've gone. So some of the guys that were at the Comic Con in Brazil are sort of connecting with the Paris fans and the London fans. So they're, oh. they're kind of talking to each other now, which right. is, it's brilliant. Yes, they it's do. They make brilliant. friends amongst each other. Yeah. It's like the old days of pen pals, you know, when you had pen pals in the mini. But you don't have to wait for the pigeon to deliver it. <laughs> I'm you, not that old. Okay, you know the pigeons. Other, right? okay. The other thing I never took, took into consideration is the fact that through all of the kind of fun and the promotion, and you know, the one thing I really try not to do is if I'm going to self promote, I'll always point in the direction of the person that it's really responsible for, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, like the photographer, if it's, right. if it's a nice photograph. Sarah it's, Dunn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've made friends now because of it. Mm -hmm. um, but also the charities, you know, in the middle yes. of all of this kind of commercial production, you can just point your hand in the direction of somebody that really needs help. So that's been great. And I don't know if you <laughs> noticed, but during the North and South 10th anniversary, that yeah. your Richard Armitage US fan page created this event where everybody would watch the, the movie together. And in honor of that, you suggested that they go to your Just Giving page and donate to um, Young Minds. Young Minds. Right? And I don't know if you looked at it, but the, the response was incredible. So I, did. I looked I at did that look. and thought, that's an incredible position to be in, to be able to...
promote good causes that way. Yeah, I mean, it's something that I, again, I'm, I'm always a bit skeptical of. There's always a certain amount of self-promotion, but not on Twitter. You can just retweet what they're talking about. Right. You know, so I'm just really into it. Exactly. So I noticed when you took off for the for the whirlwind press tour that you were on, Air New Zealand, who's a huge sponsor, has your face on the side of the fuselage. What? I know. What is that? What are they like? going to do with that now? They're going to have to respray that <laughs> plane, re- aren't they? <laughs> I mean, and what is that like? Some poor guy is standing in New Zealand with a kiwi pot of paint, looking up at a giant plane, thinking, "I've got my work cut out." But I mean, when you go on a plane like that, do you at least get like you know an extra bag of peanuts? You know, because you're the guy on the side of the plane. I don't know if I ever went on that one. I've definitely been on the smell one. But I, oh, okay. I, I think it, I think we missed the one that Excuse we were supposed me, sir, to. Excuse me, sir. Can we have some ID? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, can please just look on the side of the plane. Out the front That's of me. me. They still wouldn't let me on though, would they? <laughs> okay, so let's get serious. That's what you do to... Let's get serious. You know, he doesn't even know what time zone he's in. <laughs> Seriously. Who are you? I am from the Angle Final oh, Channel. Thank Angeles. you so much. Yeah, good. He okay. never remembers my name. Yeah. This is really yeah. hurtful. Molly's Poland. Oh, God, he got it right this time. Okay, good for you. Points. Uh, okay, so tell me. Okay, you've been asked this 100,000 times, but I want to know. <clears throat> this is the end of the journey. So what, what was it like to see the film all completed and knowing that this is the end and tomorrow night and, and what sort of emotions are going to be running through? 